Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Economy Plus add-on. And it, uh, this has some multiplayer features. So, over here I've got... Um, I'm using my nephew's account I made for him. Uh, here. I'm using this to like uh, demonstrate some of the... To demonstrate the uh, multiplayer features that this has. Um, I don't know, and uh, but yeah, this uh, this add-on mainly is focusing on uh, well, at least from what I read on the uh, store, you know, the marketplace page, is that it's mainly focusing on you know multiplayer and like economy servers and stuff like that. So it's like an alternative to using diamonds. I yeah, so we'll uh, we'll take a look at it and see how well it works. <laughs> Right, so how to... oh. Uh, welcome to Economy Plus Guidebook. Here you will find the information you need for the add-on. Uh, contents, how to how to use the add-on. Receipts, receipts for all... The items change log every time this add-on is updated. All the details of the changes will be listed here. Roadmap, our plans for the future. If you have any suggestions uh, or suggestions, questions or... Have any questions, suggestions, or would like you to talk to us about the add-on? Please join us on Discord. HTTP about bar bar. So first, we're going to do how to. So in this section, you can learn about each part of the add-on. A lot of the features that come with their own. Uh, quite. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be guide. But they put a Q instead of a G, which I don't know how they managed that because the G is there, the Q is there, there that's F, D, S, and A in between the two of them. Uh, but yeah, uh, guide. When using this add-on, however, we have listed uh, some of the information here. Click on a uh, button to start to to learn about the section. So bank and money. You can use the uh, banking app to do a range of things. You can uh, open the uh, bank app at ATMs with an ATM card or with a phone. See recipes to craft. So, uh, you, so I'll cheat these in. But, uh, so ATM, we'll do ATM first. So there's floor ATM, wall ATM, and floor. And, uh, oh, ATM top and ATM bottom. So if you want a wall ATM, it's uh, just like seven glass, uh, seven iron, a glass block, and a gold ingot. For ATM top, it's, it's you know that the same, basically the same thing, but with two gold ingots. And then it, that one's that without the glass. So not super expensive. So uh, I'm just gonna go to game mode one and grab myself these ATMs, so you can take a look at them. So that's the bottom, that's the top. There we go. So that's the floor ATM. Let's take a look at the wall one. Uh, here's a wall over here. So this one you have like in the side of a building. So yeah, let me... And they're pretty easy to pick up. So you'd have a uh, flush of the wall like that. Pretty simple. And they, look, and they do look cool. So, uh, then there was also the ATM card, which you've got... To, a bunch of different, so you got like ATM card black, blue, brown, cyan, and so on. You got all the different colors, and it's the die, a gold nugget, a lever, and a paper. Yeah, not super expensive. So let me just get myself a go to game mode one and get myself a card. I'm thinking I might need to put my phone on charge for this because this is going to take a while. So let me do that real quick before it dies. Uh, 
There you go, it's on charge now, so I don't have to worry about it dying. So now I have the ATM card. So you right click on here. And yeah, so yeah, it's your bank app. You've got that. Uh, yeah, so you start off with zero. So you can send money, manage friends. So I can add friend. I can add uh, him. Yeah. I can uh, deposit cash and withdraw cash. And if I want to send money, so I can do online players. So they don't have to be your friend to send money to them. So they just need to be online. Uh, but if you want to send money to them when they're offline, uh, you, they I think they need to be added as a friend. Uh, and it also said we using the phone. Yeah, here we go. So there's the phone, which is four iron, two glass, and the lightning rod. So not, nothing super expensive in this add-on. So far, at least. I've got our phone. So if I right-click with it, I can send money and manage friends. So you can't deposit money on the phone, but you can send the money and manage your friends. So yeah, you can send money, remove friend back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, it does mean you don't have to uh, bother with like exchanging diamonds or anything. Uh, but it does mean you need do need to craft at least uh, one ATM or wall ATM and a ATM card to be able to deposit money. But it makes sense that you can't deposit money on your phone because you can't really do that in real life. Anyway, uh, how to bank and money. So, yes, the phone, uh, send the money. Either use the option to send money to either online players or to your friends, even if they are offline. Manage friends, withdraw. So that lets you withdraw money from the ATM in the cash items. Deposit it to some or all of your cash into items into your account. Okay, and then there's the market. You can use a market to sell up to three items. Markets can hold as many of the same quantity of items you want to sell. They have to match to be added. Markets can take money for you while you are offline. If the world is open or on a realm, markers have to be placed in a 3x3x3 three by three by three area with no air or other markets. Uh, so let's... So, market. Mark. So yeah, you've got a spot. You've got spawn market, which is crafted with three... Does it have to be wall planks or can this be on cherry wood? Right wall. So hold on, let me just go to game mode one and see if the, if it has to be those. So let me get so uh, free oak plant. Uh, let's get free bitch, and then two oak fences, and where's the wool, 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 wool? Let's get free cyan. So yeah, it doesn't have to be those, it can be any like wood or wool. So you craft it, and it, uh, you've got a market and you spawn it. Yeah, this is, this looks pretty cool. So yeah, and it can store up to as many as three like So if I give Appy Cooked Beef uh, 2 six, 269 cooked beef. I right click on here. Shift right click. Punch. Ah, there we go. Manage market. Edit item one. Add item. Cooked beef. So yeah, it's 269 price. Sell it for like 10. 
select create texture so you got coal concrete copper diamond emerald and food glass gold iron lapis lead. wow you got a lot of different ones here but yeah uh, let's select the food one there we go and let's do so yeah there you go so it says there ghost pokemon masters market cooked beef 10 cash quantity 269 so yeah so if i give at p and uh pills 100 so manage market item 2 add item ender pills for 20 select uh, there was an end one wasn't there Woodstone, redstone, never, never, natural. Oh yeah, here we go. Emerald, end. Here we go. Submit. Oh yeah, so it looks like in stone. And the, the uh, what else should I put in there? Ah, uh, I don't know. Oak. Log. 800. Oh no, I've got leaves, not a lot. Oh well. Manage market. Item 3. Add item. Oak leaves, 500. Sell for 5. Uh, lap it. Leaves. Submit. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. So yeah, and then if I just like go to game mode one real quick, and I get a card. Let's give him the black one and mum e. Oh, make right, cash. Here we go. We've got some cash items here. So five cash. Yeah, let's just give him a bunch of cash. You doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So, if I go here and I use that on there, deposit cash, deposit all, yes. And then I can go up to here and if I whack it, cooked beef. So I can buy one, I can buy half, I can buy all, and I can buy a custom amount. Uh, let me just go into here so I can show this off to you real quick. Yeah, you can kind of see that. So if I go to buy custom, so yeah, it's just a slider. Uh, oh, well, 63 will be fine, but yeah. It's like a slider that you use to select the amount you want. And you hit submit. So it says here, negative 650 cash was withdrawn from your account. New balances, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, now I've got to the uh, cooked beef here. So let's go... Ah, oh, I think that's... Messed up my camera's focus. Here we go. Let's sort it out. So it doesn't tell you. Right. So first complaint is that it doesn't tell you when you've made a sale. So, uh, so if I didn't know that he just bought it, then I you know, wouldn't know. Oh, it said. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, no. You have to go to here. So yeah, cooked beef. So price ten. Yeah, that's, I don't want to buy my own food. So manage market. There you go. Withdraw all all sales. So that's six hundred and thirty cash. 
Uh, so yeah, you show you want to draw. There we go. And there, yeah. So now that's in my balance. There we go. So yeah, so that was the market. Yeah, by items if you own the market, you'll get the managed market button. You can edit a memo. So. My only real complaint with this right now uh, is, uh, other than the fact that it doesn't tell you that you uh, have made any sales, so you have to go around and checking them individually, is that while I do like this, this is a really nice model, it wouldn't exactly fit in everyone's shop, and I would like there to be a wider variety of uh, uh, stall designs uh, to fit different types of shops. But well, that looks cool. Uh, what's up next? Uh, recipes, change, uh, uh, how to's. Uh, auction. You can use the auctions to sell up to 27 items at a time. Each item can be up to one stack. Unlike the market type, so that's 27 individual types of items up to one stack of each. So like, you could uh, sell up to 27 stacks of a single item, I guess. Or just like set 27 different items up to one stack of each. Uh, online and market items are bid on by other players before they are sold. Items are sold if they have received at least one bid before the time is up, at default 24 hours. When bidding on an item is in an auction, it uh, will uh, take the money you bid if you win, the item will be available to collect when there's somebody else bids. bids. You'll get the money back. Here you can see all the... So yeah, so when you make a bid, it takes that money out of your account when you make the bid. But then if somebody bids higher than you, it gives you that money back. And it probably won't let you bid if you don't have enough money. Uh, here you can see all the active listings for... An auction, if you own the account auction, you can use this to check the listing to remove it. If you have a one, an item or a dinner to sell in time, then you can collect all items uh, wanting to be collected within the collection button. The button will uh, display a total of all collections and how many are due to collect. If you own the market, you can list an item and choose its minimum bid price. If you are, if you own the market, you can remove the market only if there are no collections left. Okay, so was it? So do I need to make an intent orc? Ah, the spawn auction. Oh, I'm in creative mode. Uh, how? What do you need to craft this? You need four planks, a stick, and uh, two gold. That's not too expensive. Again, most of these are pretty cheap. So let's place this down. So yeah, so you can start. Oh, I need to punch it. So active listings, collect items, list items. So give at P. I don't know. Um, Shulker, Shulker Shell, 64, um, what else, a Diamond Sword, it would help if I remembered the underscore, a Diamond Sword, and, um, I don't know. Oh, let I I could try one of the uh, one of the uh, modded items. So let's see. Got. Let's see. Let's do the uh, pig pig iron ingot. Now let's try these and see. So list an item. So the bid in the instrument, so increment, so it's 10. 
You can only input a whole number more than zero. No. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh. So yeah, it lists the item that's currently in your hand. So, so list an item. Ten. Submit. List an item. Ten. Submit. Oh, yeah, it took the pig iron. So then somebody could come over here, punch this. So I'm going to have to go back to the webcam to show you this. But you can see it shows you the live auctions and all that. Uh, so yeah, if you win, you can collect the items here. So listing, you can see the listings here. So yeah, you got the diamond sword, the shulker shells, and the pig iron ingot. Yeah, it's all quick. So then it's, oh, I want that. So it gives you like item information, the item name, the quantity, the type. Uh, bid information, minimum bid, 10 cash, current bid, not available, zero cash, total bid, zero, time left, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 12 seconds, and then you can bid. So you can like, and then you can like change the amount. So say you didn't want to bid 10, you wanted to bid one hundred at one thousand. They change that to one thousand. I think I don't think you have to put cash at the end of it. Let's see. Yeah, that way it is successfully bid on it. So now if I go back to active listings. Yeah, it shows that it shows that you've now it shows that to I, I mean, they've bid that much for it. So then, if we left this to uh, left this for a day, then it would uh, you know run out, and then he'd get it. I don't think I can make it run out. So. Uh, but yeah, it's not like you don't really need that. Showing off, you can like sort of guess what happens when it. So yeah, so listings. Yeah, I can remove it, but I don't. I think that would just like uh, give him his money back. But yeah, pretty cool. You can probably get creative with that. Uh, let's see how to. Bank and money. No, Lily. Uh, Marco, we just did the auction. So, and then technical info. To gain money in vanilla survival, there are uh, wandering buyers that spawn in the villages. These can be turned uh, off in the settings. If you would like to integrate Economy Plus into your system or commands, you can use the following to add and remove money from players to add or remove from the from the from the a score for a player to the scoreboard share money update yes i think it's just like uh you do forward slash scoreboard add or remove and then THM underscore ECP comma money underscore update and then the amount I guess. Uh, I think that's how it would work. Once you have done this you need to run script event THM underscore ECP comma update. This will then transfer the positive or negative score to the player. If you would like it to test for a player's money, such as target selectors, you can use the scoreboard here to display 
This scoreboard can also be displayed in any display area. It will be updated when the player changes their balance and if they leave or join so. Yeah, you can do scoreboard THM ECP. Scoreboard THM There was THM. Underscore ECP, comma money. Underscore ECP, comma. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Comma money. This one's a bit difficult to do because it's like you can add to Q, Rick and Paul. Only underscore display. Display. So how to. Uh, technical this scoreboard can also be displayed in there. so if you would like to test for a player's money you can such as target selectors you can use a scoreboard display this scoreboard. so if I just do that yeah nothing happens I don't know so this scoreboard object, oh wait, I don't know, I don't really use a scoreboard command, if you know more about that feel free to like put a comment in the comment section down below and uh, I'll pin it, uh, so you got receipts, uh, there are custom items and how to make them, to make this guidebook it's a shapeless crafting get recipe with a paper, a leather, and a gold nugget. ATM cards are shapeless. Cash isn't like craftable, however, you can make a bigger or smaller cash. For example, 5 times 10 cash items equals 50 cash items, and the 50 cash items equals 5 times 50 cash items market. So, yeah, auction. So, this is the recipes wall, ATM floor, ATM floor, ATM bottom. Phone, so yeah. There's not going to be anything here. All right. There's your one point to changes. Update of pre release bug fixes. Added balance to transfer and withdraw forms. Roadmap, so yeah. Uh, there are things if you want to discuss them from there. Jobs, we are currently working on a job system that you'll be able to browse from the phone. This will give you money for completing tasks. Potions, currently potions in the market and the, the auctions is not supported. Once the scripting API releases, uh, the potions component will be able to turn off the prevention savings, a feature where we have a uh, Savings plan is to allow you to transfer money into a savings account to and that you'll receive interest every Minecraft day. That's uh, a cool feature that I didn't think of. Yeah, persons is a bit of jobs. That's a cool idea. Items we are planning on adding a uh, uh, placeable cash as blocks, cash registers, and other items to make the economy more immersive. We are also looking good to create a way to change the theme of the economy to be able to have different cash items such as gold and gold pouches right so something that's not in it i really do have to criticize this for because uh, i criticized another add-on for this which uh, was like the money add-on uh i really criticized that one heavily for this because they had it but, but then removed it so, but uh there's no way to convert this cash money into 
uh, you know, diamonds or gold or anything else without just like giving it to someone else. But then why would that other person want it? It's just like, it's just a cash item. So um, I think they need to, oh, and I didn't summon the, uh, summon, what is he, wandering trader, tinkerer, trader, buyer, there he is. Wandering buyer. So it's cool that you can get uh, money off this guy for trading trading him some blocks, some stuff, and you get some cash from it. That's a cool idea. But uh, and obviously like, adding jobs and stuff is also a good idea. Um. But what I would like to see is uh, like and maybe if you open up the phone. You, there'd be another one here, another he thing here for like, ma you know, uh, market or something. And then this would be an entirely separate thing where basically you could trade in your money for blocks and items and stuff like totals of undying, diamonds, emeralds, and you know, just like, uh, you know, just like, you know, just like kind of like anything else because. Otherwise, this money is just basically useless other than just like passing it around between friend, between your friends. And that's really only good for like a uh, roleplay servers, where it's like in a city and you're roleplaying. If you want this to be more, sit, you know, more like widely used by like realm, you know, economy realms and stuff like that, you need these to be able, you need to be able to convert these into diamonds and, you know, other blocks that are actually useful. Otherwise, you know, why would, uh, you know, shop owners want to use, uh, use the money? Why not just, uh, why would they not just stick to using diamonds as a form of currency? And while the uh, market and the uh, auction are cool, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I do like them, then, also I got a bit of a snotty nose today, uh, they're not really, you know, cool enough to be, to really make me want to use them over just trading with diamonds. So, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're a realm uh, moderator, you could set something like that up for yourself, but that's a bunch of work that you, that, uh, uh, you probably might not, that you might not want to do. So I do think the add-on should definitely add some way of converting the cash into diamonds and you know all that um you know just like have a you know like i said just have a shop just have a shop thing here and you could like browse through like all the different blocks and like all of them would have like you know different values so i would use uh i would suggest using diamonds as a uh, uh you know pegging it basically pegging it to the diamond so basically okay if the diamond is worth say 10 money and that you know usually like people would say like a uh, totem of dying is worth five diamonds then a totem of dying would be worth 50 money if you get what i'm saying uh and the, and the uh in my opinion that would be the best way of going about doing that uh but yeah yeah but like i said without that i really don't see the reason why i would use the this money system other than you know on a roleplay server uh, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, uh, also, I should I should probably sh shuffle the money. Money. Uh, I want to go to game mode one. Mum. Hmm. Oh wait, no, it's cash. So yeah, you got all the different caches. I know they look cool. You got like a bunch of different. So, yeah, let me see here. So, you can... So, I have a bunch of ones here. So, I can craft those ones into fives. And those fives into tens. And then those tens into fifties. I don't have enough fifties, I don't think. So, let me get like a fifties. And you craft those 50s into 100s. 
and the hundreds into five hundreds and then the five hundreds into one thousands and then the one thousands I think I need more of them One thousand. Yeah, and then you craft the one thousands into five thousands, and then you craft the five thousands into ten thousands, and you craft ten thousands into. Oh, let me check all them out. Yeah. Just sliding back into my inventory. Craft the ten thousands into wait, that's five thousand to get fifty thousand. I need more fifty thousands. Well, anyway, anyway, you get the idea. You craft them all. You can craft them all up into higher and higher amounts of money, which you know is cool, but it's just kind of like. Yeah, not, like I said, not really much point to the add-on if you can't. Somehow convert these all into, you know, diamonds and other blocks and stuff. Uh, and especially in, like, single player, like, if you're playing this in single player, there's literally no point to this. And, well, like, also, like, the jobs will fix that. Um... You know, you can, well, sort of fix that. You can get the, you can get money from jobs, but like I said, uh, you still need some way to be able to, like, convert these into, you know, actual, you know, useful resources. But, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.